Last month, our first guest stood right beside the Lincoln Memorial and sang us into a new administration on Sunday night. She will be sitting next to Lionel Richie and Luke Bryan on a new season of American Idol. It premieres at 8 o'clock here on ABC. Please welcome Katy Perry. <laughs> Hey, you look fantastic. I never know what length your hair is going to be, what color your hair is going to be. It's just a surprise each time. Well, you know, I like to keep people on the edge of their seat. Mm -hmm. But also, you know, when mom has a night off, she leans all the way in. Is that right? Yeah. How, <laughs> how is momness going? It's the best decision I ever made in my entire life. Was it a decision that you made? Mm -hmm. It was. Well, that's great was, to hear. Yeah. Are you getting sleep or are you... Yeah, I mean, I have family and support, and, you know, I've got an incredible fiancé who who's done this before. He has a 10-year-old son. Uh -huh. So as much as I was a little bit like, you know, I don't need to hear all those stories, they actually helped. <laughs> They're like, oh, you've had a run at this. You know how to do this. So yeah. he's been amazing, incredible, and we're so in love, and we're so grateful. Oh, that's good. Well, that's very good. Yeah. Because I have two older kids and two little kids, <laughs> and my wife um, doesn't really reject the idea that I've ever had children. Oh. I mean, she loves my older kids, of course, but she doesn't believe that I know how to do anything. You, well, COVID has either torn people apart or brought them together. <laughs> this is pre-COVID. This is just... <laughs> this is just life. Right? That's life. That's life. So having a baby during the... Speaking of COVID, was Orlando allowed in the room, in the delivery room with you? He was. He was. That's he good. Was. He was so... Um, he was such a great support. He, we had, like, a little boom box, and um, he was there, and he was so wonderful and just, like, holding my hand and looking into my eyes. And... That's good, because one slip, and you never... You hear about for the whole rest of your life. <laughs> You know when, like, you, you want to film it, but you also want to be present. So there's a fine line. Yeah, yeah. You know? Did he film? Did he do the... Yeah, he, he was great. He, I highly recommend it. Oh, okay. is, is he doing this for others? Yes, he should. <laughs> he should. <laughs> Your daughter's name is Daisy, which is a very pretty name. Yes, Daisy is it Dove. Da is, da is her last name Bloom? Yes, Daisy so it's Dove a Bloom. Very flower-themed Daisy yes. Bloom. Yeah. Daisy to me means... Um, pure, like, purity, and dove means peace, and bloom kind of feels like it means joy, so it's, like, very pure peace and joy. See, to me, daisy means duck, and um, dove means soap. <laughs> but they're both right. really good, you know? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, they did yeah. co-op those names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think, but I don't think you'll get any of that, daisy. I think daisy duck is kind of, the kids are now watching Netflix, you know? I don't yeah, think Yeah, I mean... If she's anything like her mother, she'll love Disneyland and Disney World, and so she'll, she'll I think she'll like it. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you loved Disney World before having a kid, you're really going to love Disney World. Sure do. <laughs> uh, this is a baby gift that you received from Taylor Swift. Did she embroider this blanket her she, herself? She sure did. She yeah. did? Yeah, it was amazing. It was very, very thoughtful. That's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, she, there's, like, little inscription and everything. She's very sweet. How do you know for sure she did that herself? Um, Isn't she recording, like, 11 albums a year? Yeah, How I didn't that know possible? that then, but I think, you know, <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, she did. I, I take it for her word, I think. Did your friends, especially your famous friends, did they feel like, I have to get something for... It can't just be a regular thing. I have to get something particularly interesting, something maybe Instagram-worthy, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, look, all you need is love, and, you know, a roof over your head and... Diapers are good. Some milk yeah. and some diapers. <laughs> yeah. That's really all you need. All the rest, you know, <laughs> you don't really need any of it. You it's tweeted sweet. something that I honestly didn't really realize until a few years ago, and you're right. It's not nine months. It's m 10 months, maybe even a little more than 10 months, Yes, right? I was Why? Like 41 weeks plus. Why don't we know that? Why did we decide? There's a lot of things in history that we might need to punch up. Yeah. Or, yeah. 
<laughs> or down. Or down. Yeah. But what I will tell you is nobody talks about the first six weeks after you have the baby. Oh my God! <laughs> That's wild. What a roller coaster. I know that I, I had actually, I had my fifth album coming out. And I, and I gave birth um, at Cedars. And you know every other album cycle, there'd be like some kind of celebration or party or dinner or whatever, you know? But this time, I was giving birth to the greatest gift of all for me. And then um, my album came out the next day, and I was in the hospital, and I could not uh, wipe my own butt. <laughs> and I was like, is that, like, is that usually how you celebrate? No, no. and I was like, this is the most unusual <laughs> album release day for me, and I love it. <laughs> Two major releases, for sure. <laughs> That's right. Wow. Well, did you watch the Super Bowl yesterday? Yeah, I did. It was cool. So when you watch the Super Bowl, I would assume you pay particular attention to the halftime show because you did it five years ago. Uh, yes. Six years ago. Yes. Six years ago. I was I was just like with the baby, and just going like this. And go, Those who, I was like, am I in the Super Bowl? What's happening? Am I? That's how I was doing it while I was watching. It was really cool. I liked how um, Abel commanded the field, and all of the dancers were moshing and throwing elbows. It was very kind of punk rock. Yes, uh, the weekend. Yeah, Abel. The weekend. Yeah. Yes, he. Um... I heard he spent $7 million of his own money on that performance. Did you have to spend your own money on it? I mean, I don't remember spending anything like that. Maybe like, you know, thousands of extra dollars. What kind of a thing is that, that you have to pay for your own stuff at the Super Bowl? Well, you get a budget. Yeah. And sometimes your dreams are bigger than the budget. And I you're see. Like, <laughs> You know, <laughs> yeah, you have to be realistic. I think that was a really big, a really, I mean, all that was amazing. Is that how Left Shark came in? You're like, you know what, we Had gotta to meet cut the, budget. the budget somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He did somebody that, not necessarily dancing, and the costume cost 80 bucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. right? No, it was amazing. It's so intense to play the Super Bowl. I would imagine. Whoa! It's crazy. I mean, I saw I saw Abel's eyes, and they were like, "Bump!" And I was like, "Yeah, I know the feeling." It's like, like actually, before I went on stage, I had yet I had never given birth, right? And you know, I've never had, I've never you know, been close to death or life or through you know at that thin threshold. And mm -hmm. I was like, "Whew! Is this what it really feels like?" Because this is intense. Because it's like a rocket launch. And you're kind of waiting backstage, ready to go and do your show, and you only have 12 minutes to like get on the field and get everything prepped, and everything has to be like, you know, it's just Perfect. there's no room for error. Right. Yeah. It was yeah. intense. You so. had a giant lion in I did. your super. I think we have a picture of the lion. Is that in the baby's room now, or? <laughs> or... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> um, actually, a funny story about this is you don't see it on television. You never saw it on television. But the way that I got down from that lion was doing a fireman, I had a fireman's pole on the other side to hit my mark to go into the, like this chess themed um, bit that I was doing. And I was running it in my rehearsal and I, I, ran, I ran the performance, you know, 75 times. It was just like, go, 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 go. And we got to the point when you're running rehearsal that you're doing all your costumes. Right. And so I was doing my lion and then I do the fireman pole and I was running it with costumes, and the costume that I was running, the balloon outfit, you know, the beach, beach balloon outfit, it was made of latex. And then when I went down on the fireman's pole, it split in half. <laughs> and, I, and I was like, I was a few days out from actually playing the day, and I was like, Oh, this is why we do rehearsals with costumes. So you're... Got it. You were disrobed by the... I, yeah, well, it was like, I mean, rubber on metal. Let's go. Wow. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break. <laughs> Katy Perry is here. American Idol comes back Sunday. We'll be right back. This goes out to all the models out there who think they cannot be more than just models. You know what I'm saying? Well, maybe we can have a walk-off to decide. A walk-off? Oh, you know what a walk-off is. You mean me and you? Y like you a battle? And I. Yeah, like a catwalk battle. I'm gonna destroy you, but I'm I'm down to do it. <laughs> you know? Whoa, oh, whoa, 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 wow, whoa, wow. whoa, Mama Lucci. Okay. That is Katy Perry, Lionel Richie, and Luke Bryan, and a guy in his underpants on American Idol. It's a show about music, I swear. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> That's what fourth season will do to you. You're like, okay, how do we keep it spicy? <laughs> and he comes in like that, and that's his idea to do that. Yeah, well, I mean, look, all you had to do was click a Zoom link to audition this season, so they all came out. I see. Yeah. Oh, really? And, and the talent is phenomenal because of it, but then there are moments where... It's uh, it's interesting. You say, so you're saying you think the act of having to videotape yourself prevented a lot of people from doing it now that they can just do it on Zoom? Uh, or, oh, going and lining up. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. that's go, what it you is. You used to have to go and line up, and oh. then we would go to the different, you know, uh, towns all over the country with the American Idol bus, and now it was like, a little bit easier. There's less barrier to entry by just clicking a link and then trying. And everybody was at home and, you know, they were like, wow, dreams. Uh, don't want to put them on hold anymore. Let's try. I wonder if those people are going to be more likely to crumble when they're performing live in front of everybody because they haven't been through that test. Maybe, but there's some time in between, like, getting the yes from the Zoom to actually going in person. And obviously, we have been so COVID safe and had to do all kinds of like testing and quarantining and you know all the things um, and everyone's been taking it so seriously so I think they might have psyched themselves in you know I see okay all so right. but it's been interesting as you know filming during this time and yeah it's weird yeah it's strange being in in person yeah even like I was uh, during the commercial I was talking to you I was like oh I'm getting too close yes and I'm loud so I, I know probably stand back and I, know. I could see you the fear next in your time eyes I as see well. you next next <laughs> next season I hope. Yeah. I'm going to hug you. Okay, oh, that'll yeah. be nice. <laughs> well, give me something to live for. Something to look forward to. What did Lionel get the baby for uh, being born? What was Lionel's gift? Do you remember? Um, yes. Okay. Uh, they were both, Lionel and Luke um, gave very Lionel and Luke uh, gifts. Oh, really? Okay. Lionel gave a nice, gave her a nice robe and then uh, a bottle of champagne for mom and dad. And then Luke gave her. Um, a pink tractor and a Daisy BB gun. Oh, oh, a Daisy. B oh, that's a great. That's a clever gift. Yeah. <laughs> Luke is clever. That's good. I, look, us judges, we stay true to who we are. After you drink the champagne, you could shoot the bottle with the BB gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, of course, the inauguration. You were fantastic, and hey. that. It almost seemed, I mean, it had to be you. I mean, the fireworks show was, um, was that unnerving? Because I have to say, like, you, I mean, it sounded great. And of course, the president, first lady are there in your presence, and that's nerve wracking. But suddenly, everything is exploding. Yeah, I mean, it, it was it was pretty intense, but um, haven't the last four years been? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and you know, I think that it was important to go and to um, stand there and sing there. Um, in in um, you know, my family, they are both Republicans and Democrats, and so we've been in that kind of can we all sit down at the, at the table and talk and, and we agree to disagree sometimes and then sometimes we can't talk. You know, it goes back and forth and there are, there are times where we're, where, where we're like, you know, like this. And so I told them I was going and they were praying for me and um, I was just singing because I was hopeful that maybe there'll be some more unity in the next four years and families can like come together again because it's very sad. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be nice. Well, a new baby tends to bring everybody together, you know? Yeah. That's how it goes. She's the best. It's the best. I, I mean, she changed something really important in, inside of me, and I feel that. And everything I do now, I think of her, and I think, okay, where she'll be when she's 36, what is this planet going to look like? Like, how can I do my part? How can I change myself to be a better human being every day so that she can have a fantastic life? Excellent. Well, that's good. That's, that's all you can ever do, right? It's Katy Perry, everybody. American Idol, Sunday night, 8 o'clock on ABC. Thank you, Katy. We'll be back with Bruce Arians. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. An evil wizard has trapped me inside this YouTube video. Click subscribe to help me escape.